you have to take into consideration the flavor of the cake, the type of cake, the color of the cake, and the final decorative techniques that are used on the cake. There is a lot to consider right. when you're talking about your wedding cake. Right. Um, we Today we've kind of pulled together some ideas that for a jumping off point. Uh, we've focused on color, fabrics, um, monogramming as special technique or special ways to, to start thinking about your wedding well, cake. Well, you have your own bakery now. I do. In Sandusky, Ohio. Yes. And uh, what, you know, Wendy comes back and forth all the time to, to bake, and she has her own office at our Starrett Lehigh offices uh, where she creates these fantastic confections. And uh, what are you getting in terms of requests for color, for example? Color is all over the place now. Some brides still like the traditional white on white look, but we have a lot of requests for color in weddings. Brides are getting influenced by bridesmaids' gowns. Um, that, that oftentimes there's a theme of color coming through. So how many people order blue cakes, for example? Uh, say out of 10 people, how many would order a blue cake? Oh, I would say you probably have about three really? ordering blue cakes. And cream? Uh, this one is like a lemony cream color. Uh, I haven't done a lot of yellow cakes, but uh -huh. there are there are different color palettes. And this fabulous green. This one is the mint green and chocolate cake here. So, and on the inside, we've kind of focused with the color mint green. We focus on the flavor mint green. So, do inside. people bring in the magazines and the and the book to asking for a specific cake? Uh, uh, oftentimes, do they ever yes. change their minds after they're talking to you? Well, a lot of ladies like to come in and they have a specific cake in mind, but they want to tweak it to reflect their own taste. Right. So um, oftentimes when we're talking color, we usually like to have a color swatch so that we can kind of so relate the color. What better than paint swatches? You can just go and take these right out of Lowe's and uh, don't tell them you're using it for your cake. <laughs> tell them you're using <laughs> exactly. it for your, for your bedroom. Right. But uh, these are uh, give you all the kinds of colors, matching fabrics, matching uh, exactly. decorations, matching tablecloths, yes. the whole thing, right? Fabrics we can use for color swatches, but we can also use them to inspire the cake which is what we have here, this whole little design This is off my bed. Here. This is, uh, that is my matelassé. <laughs> yes, it, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful um, idea. It actually for was the inspiration the for the quilted icing on the cake. Yes, yes. Yeah. And also you see some little lace detailing there too, which could be taken from your grandmother's veil or something like that. Here we have the uh, damask. This is which, so beautiful, Wendy. I love this cake. This is one of my favorites yeah. also. But we, we worked also with different colors on here. So we brought in the color and the fabric palette. But there's just amazing, amazing uh, damask prints out there, which are just stunning. Um, and then here we have the, uh, the eyelet. Oh, I love this Again, too. Again, many different designs of eyelet. Now you could, Any you of these could inspire a cake decorator. Yes, and you don't need to use it in Oops. a big way. You could use it just small um, eyelet detail. But not all bakers are as adept as you at creating these things, but they can follow your directions. If they, if can, they can't find you, they can find uh, the inspiration. Sure, or just uh, small details. Yep. You don't have to go <gasps> Pink luster, another one of my very, very favorite things. I love all of this, and we did an entire cake story in the magazine based on the antique pink luster. I love that. Yes, this was a hand-painted cake. Now, this is the way the bride can personalize her wedding cake. Uh, say she's collecting pink luster, or, or she's um, interested in china patterns. And this book, this is one of the greatest books, uh, Lambeth. I love this. Methods of Cake Decorating. From what year is this? I 1930. Forgot. 1930. Yes. So this is our Bible, our well, Bible of decorating. I know you and I both love <laughs> collecting the old cake decorating oh, yes. books. And so for me, this was a very personal book, and I know you love this as well. But we've taken some of the piping details from some of these old mm -hmm. cakes, and then we mixed them all up on one piece there. Now this, look at this masterful piping on this cake. It's just extraordinary. It does take some practice, so if you're the baker, and I love, I love the monogram case. I love all these cakes. So I mean, I have to get married many, many, many more times uh, <laughs> so that I can have all of these different decorations. This is one of my favorites, though. This and this is, is the calico, right? Yes. This is uh, a little floral motif that we have going on here. Again, we can work in color, but also the whole, light, the whole concept of using flowers. These happen to be made from gum paste. You can also use fresh flowers. And then we have uh, our pink blossom, cherry blossom cake oh, yes. uh, behind that. If another, you don't want to use cherry blossoms, another you one can of use my points. favorites. Well, uh, so you can see that uh, choosing a cake is just as complex as choosing a gown, negotiating with the cake maker, and how are you going to get it to delivered, and when, and what kind of cake is going to hold up in the weather that you are ex uh, expecting on your wedding.